In this video, I'm gonna show you which are the best cheap hosting providers on the market today. I'm not gonna waste your time here by listing out all the bad ones and then confusing you with the technical jargons that most people don't understand. But instead, I'm gonna provide you value by showing you the most important facts that actually matter. For example, the page load speed and the website uptime statistics. I wanted to be transparent with you here and say that I spent my own money buying all these hosting accounts so that I can provide you with high quality and unbiased reviews and results. To make this test fair, I made sure to install the same starter websites, themes and plugins on all my hosting accounts. Now the categories that I'll base my comparison on are pricing, setup and ease of use, speed and uptime performance, support and who I would actually recommend this hosting provider to. I will have a special bonus offer for you if you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plans through my special discounted link in the description below. I also have a free checklist on starting a successful blog for everyone, so make sure to stick with me to the end and I'll show you how to get access to this bonus. I also wanted to mention that these affiliate links below will have exclusive discount that are cheaper than the regular price. So make sure to check them out if you wanna get the best price on your chosen hosting provider. Now let's get right into the video. The first hosting provider on my list is Hostinger. This is by far the cheapest hosting provider on my list. If you're a small business with a tight budget but still want great performance from your WordPress hosting, then I strongly recommend you consider giving Hostinger a go. Hostinger's cheap pricing starts at just 99 cents per month. Their next two higher plans are also really cheap for the features you get, like the increase in the number of websites you can host to 100 websites, a free domain name, and free unlimited email accounts. And lastly, a notable features which hosting and provides on their highest plan is the free automated daily backups. Many companies don't provide this feature for free, especially the cheaper ones. They try to upsell you on this, but hosting is not doing that. So well done to them here. Next is the speed and uptime performance. I bought my own hosting plan from Hostinger to test out their performance. And from my speed test with GT metrics, my site loaded in three seconds flat which is actually okay, and they still pass Google's recommended site load speed. And for the price you pay, I think it's really good. Next, I tested out hosting as uptime with Uptime Robot, and they produced a 100% uptime over the 30 day period. In fact, they had no downtime for over 50 days in a row, which is an amazing streak and makes them a very reliable hosting provider. Hosting it provides customer support through email and live chat. But just beware, their live chat is not 24 seven for new customers looking to ask sales question. So you may have to email them instead here. To be honest, I was a bit disappointed about this, but understand that they may need to cut a bit of costs somewhere to be able to provide their customers with such cheap hosting plans. At least their support team is available for you 24 seven for existing customers, which I believe is the most important thing. Now I tested hosting as support team by asking them three different questions and overall they performed okay. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. They were also willing to go the extra mile and help me restore my malware infected website. The only thing they did not do was actually remove the malware, which I did not expect anyway. Now from contacting them at three different times of the day, I timed their average customer support response time to be around 14 minutes, which was too slow for me and did not pass my five minute minimum requirement. So overall, they have good support, but you will have to wait a little longer than normal to get in contact with them. Now with the setup and ease of use, hosting has its own custom user interface for configuring your WordPress site called HPanel, instead of the standard cPanel you normally see from many hosting providers. I find it designed to be cleaner and easier to navigate than the standard cPanel, and it was also fairly easy to install WordPress and SSL certificate. As you can see here, installing your WordPress site with the HPanel is very simple. With just a few clicks and just a couple of minutes, your website is up and running. Just one negative to point out here is that some of the menu items can take a while to show up after clicking. Another thing worth mentioning here is that hosting has seven data centers globally to host your website. This is great if your business is located outside of the United States, as you can still provide your customers with great website speeds but just make sure to choose your server location, which is closest to the majority of your visitors. Now you can see the score breakdown I gave Hostinger for each of the criteria I tested them on here. 
And after averaging out all the scores and giving double points to the performance section, which I believe is the most important feature, hosting has scored an 8 out of 10 overall. They are a really solid hosting company at a really cheap price. So if you're just getting started on WordPress and you have a limited budget, then I think you can't go wrong choosing hosting for your WordPress website. Here's a quick question for you. What is the main criteria you use to choose your hosting provider? Is it price, performance or speed? Let me know in the comments section below. A2 Hosting is the next hosting provider on my list. I believe they have the most features and the best support for a shared hosting company. So if you want all the bells and whistles and expect support to be top notch, then A2 Hosting would be my pick for your website. A2 Hosting has great prices starting at $2.99 per month. Their startup and drive plans are really cheap for the features you get, like the free personal website migration and the automatic daily backup on the drive plan. However, if you want better performance, you need to go with their Turbo Boost or Turbo Max plans as you will get the added features of the NVMe storage and their Lightspeed server, which allows you to install their A2 optimized custom caching plugin to really increase your website page load speed. Even though it is more expensive, I think it is worth the extra money as I show you my performance test results after applying these features here. From the Turbo Max plan that I bought, I ran a speed test with GT Metrics and my site loaded in 2.3 seconds, which is already really solid, but then I installed their A2 optimized custom caching plugin, which is what you will get on their Turbo plans. Now my website loads in just 1.8 seconds. This is super fast now and makes them one of the fastest shared hosting providers I've tested. They also easily pass Google's 3 second recommended site load speed, so you would have no problem ranking your website on Google. Next, I tested out A2 Hosting's Uptime with Uptime Robot, and they produced a 99.988% uptime over the 30 day period, which is not the best overall, but still very reliable and passes my minimum requirement of 99.95%, which some hosting providers have failed. A2 Hosting provides 24-7 customer support through email, live chat and phone call, so you can get in contact with them at any time of the day. I tested out A2 Hosting by asking the same three questions and they overall did a really good job. They helped me fully install my SSL certificate and Cloudflare CDN. They were also willing to go the extra mile and scan my website and produce the malware report for me, even though this was not part of their scope. The only thing they did not do for me was remove the malware, which I expected. Now from contacting them at three different times of the day, their average response time was three and a half minutes, which was not the fastest, but passed my minimum requirement of five minutes. Now with the setup and ease of use, once you click on the cPanel button from A2 Hosting's dashboard, it will just take you to the standard cPanel user interface where you can do things like install your WordPress website, an SSL certificate, and so on. You will also be able to create your email address and do any other adjustments to your WordPress site from here. As you can see here, installing your WordPress website with cPanel is not complicated at all. It is really simple, but the process just doesn't look beautiful, which for me, I'm okay with. Another thing worth mentioning is that A2 Hosting has four data centers in three different countries, which you can host your WordPress website on. And this is really handy for all non-US based businesses. Now, after averaging out all the points from each section, A2 Hosting had an overall average score of 8.5 out of 10. They are a really solid host with tons of unique features like their A2 optimized cache plugin and free website migration. And their support is also top notch. So if you care about these things the most, but still want it from an affordable web host, then I recommend you give A2 Hosting a try. I've also made detailed individual reviews on all of the hosting companies on my list today. So if you want more information on a particular hosting provider, then you can check out the links in the description below for links to each of these individual video reviews. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing in my roundup review so far? If yes, just make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more high quality content that I'll be releasing every week. The next hosting provider on my list is Green Geeks. I'm giving them the gold medal for being the best performer in terms of speed and uptime. If you want the fastest speed from a shared hosting provider while still staying cheap, then Green Geeks is the best choice for your business. GreenGeeks has great prices on all three of their hosting plans, 
The light plan starts at just $2.49 and their next two plans, which gets you unlimited websites and an increase in speed is also very cheap. All their plans come with free automatic nightly backup and they use light speed servers, which are meant to be super fast. A bonus from Green Geeks is you will get a free domain name for your first year on any of their hosting plans. In terms of the website speed, I installed the Lightspeed caching plugin, which will only work on Lightspeed servers and is more on the high end compared to normal servers. And my GT metrics results show that my site loaded in just 1.4 seconds, which makes them the fastest shared hosting provider on this list and perfect for ranking your website on Google. Next is the uptime robot result. And this one was also a perfect 100% uptime and they kept this streak going for 95 days in a row, which was the highest here. Green Geeks provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat and phone call. So you can contact them with any method you want at any time of the day. From the same three questions I asked Green Geeks, they answered them all really well. They were really knowledgeable and helpful, but their only letdown was their live chat support wait time. Their average was 16 minutes, which is over my five minute limit. Green Geeks uses a simple cPanel user interface with a few added custom things like SSL certificate. As you can see, installing the SSL certificate can be done on their custom dashboard if you find it easier than using cPanel, which is still possible with Green Geeks. Next is the installation of your WordPress website. This one is done on cPanel the normal way. Simple, clean, but not that pretty. Green Geeks has three data centers in the United States, Canada, and Europe, which is not as many as some other hosting providers, but still good enough for diversification and is still useful for non-US based businesses. Now, after adding up all the points, Green Geeks produced an overall score of 8.5 out of 10. They have the best speed performance and one of the cheapest prices too. So if speed and price matters to you the most, then I honestly believe Green Geeks is the best option for you to get started. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to pick up any of these web hosting plan through my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you back access to my bonus course right away. And if you want my free checklist, then go to this link in the description and you can get access to that from there. Now I think picking the right hosting provider for your business is such a crucial step and you must get this right. So now that you have picked a great hosting provider from this list here, you are now ready to go out and fully build your own successful website. And this next video will help you do just that. So check it out and I'll see you over there.